Can you imagine in 20 years' time that El Fais will be a daily in print? It's hard to imagine. Digital First Media is the second largest newspaper company in the United States. Uh, 10,000 employees, uh, about $1.4 billion in revenue, and over 18 states, 57 million customers, and uh, um, about 800 products print and online. And all of it is in crisis. Almost three years ago, starting with one part of the company, we decided to change the business model entirely. Digital first, not digital second after whatever core product, whether it be TV or print. You have to deconstruct your entire business and then reassemble it in a way that will build the future. That will mean that some people will lose their jobs. There are some people who cannot change. Success has gone from here to here, but we live it like this. We are living it like this. And the highs, and the, the highs are very good and the lows are depressing. If this content gets networked and shared, then the more networked and shared that it is, the more value it grows. It drives more traffic. And I think that's how that is going to be monetized. We took a bankrupt company and two years have increased profit, increased profit. We have grown its digital revenue more than four times doubled the audience and lowered the costs. So yeah, I think this is the model that works. I put the digital people in charge of everything. My head of business development only has a digital background. My head of content, my editor-in-chief is a digital journalist. That's his experience. We have invested and created our own private online exchange where we buy and sell our own inventory and other media companies' inventory. We packaged that together for advertisers. This was a business, it's called Ad Taxi, like, like a taxi cab. Uh, this was a business that last year at Digital First Media as an experiment was about $800,000. Nothing, you know, nothing. Right now it's a million five every three weeks. In the United States last year, 9% of all ads had no human hand selling them online. It's all algorithm. This year, over 30% of those advertising will be that way, all done by algorithm. And so you need to invest in the technology. From an open journalism perspective, there is nobody better at this than Alan Rusbridger and The Guardian. They are fearless in their experimenting with the crowd, inviting people into the news process, I think Wolfgang Blau's uh, uh, experiment at the Zeit online is also remarkable. In the past, in the recent past, with Yahoo.com and AOL.com, this sort of the first big portals in the United States, we went to them. In the future, information comes to the customer. 25% of our traffic now is coming from social. Technology is 100% of the future.